What's up, Multiverse? Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. Yesterday, Funko revealed all of their New York Comic Con exclusives that will be dropping at the con, as well as the shared retailers. So let's check it all out. <sighs> and we're not going to waste too much time getting into these guys because there is a lot to get through. Some are actually really, really cool. But I did just want to say, make sure you stick around till the end of the video because we will be looking at the shared retailers here in the UK. And I do just want to say that I will be doing this in the order that Funko Europe announced them on their social medias, whether that's different to Funko in the US, I am not too sure. And it will mean that things like sodas and maybe even some pops in the same line aren't grouped together. And first up, we have the Polaroid land camera. I'm assuming this will probably be an ad icon, right? I'm not too sure. I don't actually really collect any of the ad icons, but I can appreciate them nonetheless because some of them do have these really kind of funky, quirky designs. And this is one of them. Likewise, we have the Rubik's Cube, although that falls under the retro toy zone. It didn't actually say what line the Polaroid land camera was under. That's why I assume it is ad icons. But yeah, this is also very quirky, very funky. I mean, it would be really, really cool if the Rubik's Cube could actually Actually, like move but yeah I doubt it. Next up in the pop movies line we have Borat with flag and suit from the namesake movie. I will definitely be picking this one up. I absolutely love Borat. It's absolutely hilarious although I guess maybe not everyone quite finds it so funny but I certainly did. I think such a Baron Cohen is a genius. Absolutely hilarious. Like I said we'll definitely be picking this one up. Then under the Pop Rocks line, we have the notorious B.I.G. Biggie with Golden Suit and Fedora. Kind of makes sense to release him during New York Comic Con. He's obviously synonymous with New York. Again, looks really, really cool. Not too sure if I will pick it up. I, I, there's like loads of Biggies and I'm not really into collecting all of them. Although I did love his music. I wouldn't say like I'm a huge, huge notorious B.I.G. fan. But um, yeah, still a really cool pop nonetheless. Next up, we have the first of our Star Wars announcements, guys. And this one is really, really cool. I think it was one that was requested by a lot of people. It is Anakin Skywalker with the two lightsabers from Attack of the Clones. So I was trying to think, did he actually wield two lightsabers in Attack of the Clones? I know he definitely did in Revenge of the Sith. Maybe it was during the Battle of Genosis. I can't entirely remember, but yeah, this pop, especially with that little Jedi Padawan braid, looks very, very cool. And then we have another Star Wars announcement, this time from Andor. It is B2 EMO. I don't know if there is a better way to pronounce that. Obviously a droid from the up and coming Andor series. We did have Cassian Andor himself release as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And now here we have this droid. I do think it's a little bit weird that the show hasn't released yet but it's still a pretty cool pop nonetheless next up for all you simpsons fans we have jimbo jones and kenny zizowich I think that's how you pronounce that anyway. I must confess, I haven't watched The Simpsons in a hell of a long time. I used to watch it a ton as a kid, but yeah, I've not really followed it probably for a good 10 or 15 years, to be honest. But these two look really, really cool. The two bullies along with Nelson. And I do have to just confirm, guys, this is not a two-pack, even though they've shown them as a two-pack, essentially. And then we have the first of our Disney announcements, Clara Bell Cow here. Now, we had already seen this pop. It was leaked. Well, actually, most of these were leaked, to be honest, on a list. But we'd actually seen a physical image of Clara Bell Cow maybe like a week or so ago. So it really wasn't a surprise to see this one. And continuing with Disney, we have Professor Owl. And I have to confess, guys, I'm not really the biggest of Disney guys so I'm not really too sure he looks very familiar but I really can't remember where he's from but uh yeah it still looks pretty cool nonetheless then we have Kit and Doggy from Kitball again something I'm really not too sure about it also mentions Pop and Buddy is that a new line that they've done I mean we've had quite a lot of Pop and Buddies before but they generally fall under whether it's like television movies etc etc be interesting to see the box for this one next up we have Merida with bow and arrows from Brave and I have actually seen this not too long ago as well maybe it was like three or four months ago I watched it with my goddaughter and it was actually really good I really did enjoy it I don't really collect the Disney pop so I probably won't be picking this one up but maybe I'll pick it up for her next up guys we have Roger Rabbit from Who Framed Roger Rabbit and he has all the lipstick marks there over his face I think it's a really really cool looking pop I mean I haven't seen the film for a hell of a long time used to watch it a lot as a kid I guess we're now spoiled for choice in this day and age right with like Netflix Amazon Prime Disney Plus etc etc I just don't know whether I will pick it up though. There's a hell of a lot on here that I do want to get and yeah, I don't really want to rinse my bank balance. Next up guys, we have a really, really cool pop town from Peter Pan. It is Shmi with Skull Rock. Look at that guys. The detail on this is absolutely amazing. I do wonder if it's two separate pieces. I mean, it probably is right because pop towns, they normally come with a separate figure. So I imagine Shmi is separate to the Skull Rock. 
Don't know whether I will be picking it up, to be honest. Like I said, I don't collect Disney Funko Pops too much, but I can certainly appreciate a good looking pop when I see one. But here is one I will definitely be picking up from the Pop Movies line. It is Guy from Free Guy. I absolutely love this movie. I mean, I'm a big Ryan Reynolds fan anyway. I think the guy is hilarious, very, very entertaining, uh, and just seems a genuine, really, really cool guy. Not that I've actually ever met him, but this from the movie Free Guy. It's like where he's taking the glasses off, he's got the bloody nose, and he essentially gets opened up to the fact that he is like an NPC uh, in this video game world. Like I said, it was a really, really funny movie. Really enjoyed it, so we'll definitely be getting this pop. And next up, guys, we have more three litre soda announcements. Yes, I said announcements because there is another one releasing in addition to this. This one is Maleficent as the dragon. As you guys can see there, the chase is metallic with some flames at the bottom as well. I will definitely try and pick this up. These three litre sodas are very, very popular, at least at the moment, whether it will ever change. Who knows? Because they certainly are pricier. But yeah, I will definitely be trying to pick this one up. And here is the other three litre soda, guys. Juggernaut from X-Men. I will definitely be trying to pick this one up. It looks it's really really cool i was a big x-men fan back in the day well say back in the day i still am and juggernaut though was always my favorite villain though i do have to say i think i prefer the common here you know the chase as you guys can see there it's practically like half of the helmet is broken away but yeah i really do think i prefer the common not that i would be upset if i got the chase uh, but yeah another reminder guys that this friday is of course the d23 expo where the second uh, three liter soda to ever be announced baymax is actually releasing and it will be going on funkereurope.com so if you guys really want it make sure you know you log on i think i'm guessing it will be around like 5 p.m if i'm not mistaken they'll probably make an announcement over the next couple of days then we got some some regular soda announcements guys sticking with x-men we have jean gray where the chase edition is her as the dark phoenix and we're also getting shuri from black panther where the chase is a glow-in-the-dark version i have to say this is one of the most colorful fungo sodas i think i've ever seen i'll definitely be trying to pick both of those up and when the leaks first dropped a couple of weeks ago, a lot of people were intrigued to see how this one would look if it did come to fruition. It has. It is the Statue of Liberty from Spider-Man No Way Home, where Lady Liberty is essentially holding Captain America's shield as opposed to the torch. I think it's okay. It's. I mean, it's decent. It's a nice addition. It makes perfect sense considering this is New York Comic Con. I'm just not too sure whether I will pick it up, but I certainly did enjoy Spider-Man No Way Home. I think it's the best Spider-Man movie ever made and one of the best Marvel movies ever made, in my opinion. And continuing with our Marvel announcements, we have another Groot Funker Pop, this time from I Am Groot. Though I was starting to think... Have they already made I Am Groot Funko Pops? Well, I mean, there was two in that Marvel Collector's Core box that was released recently. I can't really remember if there have been any more, but it makes sense, right? They released a bunch of Doug Days figures. They released a bunch of Olaf Presents figures. So it's only going to make sense that we get more I Am Groot figures from these like Disney Plus shorts. I actually haven't got around to watching it yet, so I really don't know what's going on with the figure. It looks like he's got a watch around his head and playing with some kind of like alien toys or something. I will get around to watching it eventually, though, because they did look pretty funny. But yeah, this is probably like, what, the 100th Groot figure we now have. And we continue with the Marvel television releases. This is Nick Fury from C Secret Invasion. When those leaks did drop a couple of weeks ago, I thought this one is definitely not going to be coming out, but it has. I just find it really weird because I think Secret Invasion is still like six plus months away uh, from airing. If I am not mistaken, if I am, I will certainly correct myself there on the screen now. Yeah, well, we can't really say too much, right? Because the show hasn't released yet, but it looks pretty cool. Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury. Love Samuel Jackson, so yeah, maybe I will pick this one up. Not too sure yet, though. But I will definitely be picking this one up, guys. Mona Lisa Savastein from Parks and Rec. We only discovered the show this year. Well, I say discovered. We obviously knew about the show before, but we only started watching it this year. I say started. We finished watching it as well. We binge watched all seven seasons. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It's an absolutely hilarious show. I cannot recommend it enough if you haven't seen it. But yeah, Mona Lisa was an hilarious character as well. So I will definitely be picking this one up to add it to my park some rec collection next up guys we have the obligatory office fungo pop and i say obligatory because it's like we almost get an office exclusive fungo pop at every single comic con this one is halloween kelly kapoor now i must confess i've never seen the american office i've of course seen the british one but i've never watched the american one i think i will get to it someday because it is the same creators as parks and rec and brooklyn 992 shows that i find absolutely hilarious too in my opinion of the best comedies of all time so yeah i will get round to the american office someday likewise with this show the last kingdom i have never seen it either i think it's been out now for like four or five years is it the final season now 
yeah, I can't entirely remember. Like I said, I've never seen it, but I do want to see it because a lot of people tell me how good it is. I know it's quite highly regarded, and we are getting the first Last Kingdom Funko Pop here. Utred, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name correctly. I'm assuming it is the main character, but yeah, like I said, I haven't seen the show, but I will get round to it at some point. Then we have another Jurassic World Dominion pop. This is Kayla, the pilot from the movie, and I will be picking this one up. I am collecting the Jurassic World Funga Pops, and by Jurassic World, I'm talking about Jurassic Park as well. A lot of people didn't like the movie. I thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty decent. I enjoyed it to an extent, and I honestly thought it was better than the previous Fallen Kingdom movie, but yeah. We're not really getting into that. Then next up, guys, we have the first of what were just two Harry Potter exclusives announced for New York Comic Con, although we do have a whole bunch of Chamber of Secrets Fungo Pops releasing in either October or November. It is, of course, the 20th anniversary of the Chamber of Secrets. And now that I think about it, this pop actually is from the Chamber of Secrets. It is Harry Potter with the Gryffindor sword and the Basilisk Fang. It looks very, very cool. And in addition to that, the second one we have is Neville Longbottom with the Pixies. When I did see this on the list, I wondered how they would do it a lot of people thought they would add this um you, you know that clear acrylic base which you know normally raises characters who are like hovering or flying this of course is when the pixies pick up neville uh, in the movie also from the chamber of secrets yeah two really cool pops that i will definitely be picking up next up guys we had a bunch of dc releases starting with superman red which goes with superman blue which released i'm trying to think was it last year or was it the year before I can't remember, it was New York Comic Con, either 2020 or 2021, it was Superman Blue, so now we do have Superman Red. We're also getting a classic comic style Aquaman, so very, very different to the movie with Jason Momoa, and here he is in, I guess, like a, like, well, it's definitely an action pose, but it's more like a, I guess, like a swimming pose, right? It's like he's swimming to the surface, does look pretty cool. And for all you Green Lantern fans, we have another character to add to that universe. This is Star Sapphire, and I must confess, I don't really know too much about Green Lantern, albeit I own a ton of comics and graphic novels. I've just never really read much of them, so I need to certainly get into that, read more, because what I have read, what I have seen, the limited amounts, I really, really did enjoy. Then next up, guys, we have Emperor Joker, and I think this pop looks really, really cool. The one thing I did wonder, is it part of the Imperial Palace line? I'm not entirely too sure, but the fact it says Emperor, I was thinking maybe it could be, but yeah, the detail on it is really, really good. I will definitely be picking this one up. Then we have some more solo announcements, guys. This one is Jon Stewart as Green Lantern, where the chase is glow in the dark. Another one that I will definitely be picking up. I did pick up the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. We then do also have our first black light. I was thinking, is it the only black light? I can't entirely remember, but we have a black light soda here. It is black light grape ape where the chase, I guess the chases on these black lights, they're just different colors essentially, right? Then we do have Yosemite Sam from Black Knight from the Looney Tunes. I don't really collect these pops, but again, I think this one does look pretty cool. You've essentially just got like all that hair sticking out of the, the like knight's helmet there. I think it does look pretty decent. And then I'm sure all you Ben 10 fans are pretty happy because I know a lot of people have been requesting more and more Ben 10 Funko Pops. This is Ben 10 Alien Force Swamp Fire. Can't really talk too much about the character though, to be perfectly honest. I never watched Ben 10. It was really kind of after my time. Maybe I am giving my age away there. But yeah, I guess it is still a pretty cool looking pop. This next one though, I will definitely be picking up. It is Coach Beard from Ted Lasso. I absolutely love this show. In my opinion, it is the funniest comedy on television at the moment, especially since Brooklyn Nine-Nine finished. But yeah, Coach Beard here. We already had Ted Lasso himself release as the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and now we have Coach Beard. I think this is from his own episode. They did that really, it was like really bizarre. I have to say it was probably the worst Ted Lasso episode though, but I'm pretty sure that's where this one is from, because he's got those weird pants, he's got the hula hoop going on, uh, as well as the AFC Richmond shirt, has his uh, flat cap, I really couldn't think of the word there, with of course the beard, hence the name Coach Beard. Yeah, very, very cool. I will definitely be picking this one up. Then guys we have Sergeant Slaughter as part of the G.I. Joe range because we do already have a Sergeant Slaughter pop from the WWE range though this one is a little bit different I guess there is a bit more detail on it. The funny thing is um, like G.I. Joe wasn't called G.I. Joe here in the UK it was called Action Force. I don't know if it was something to do with like toy legalities or anything like that but I think Sergeant Slaughter was also called Sergeant Slammer if I do recall over here in the UK. It is from the movie. I don't think he was ever in any of the uh, like television shows, but he was definitely in the movie. Yeah, I would definitely be picking this one up because I am trying to complete that G.I. Joe collection. Next up, guys, we have Steve with Handy Dandy Notebook from Blue's Clues. I must confess, I don't really know what Blue's Clues is. It looks like a Nickelodeon show. Maybe again, after my time, really not too sure. But yeah, any Blue's Clues fans, 
there's that one. We then have the next two figures in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mighty Morphin Power Rangers collaboration. Here we have Mikey as the Yellow Ranger and Raphael as the Red Ranger. It goes with, I think it was Donatello as the Black Ranger and Leonardo as the Blue Ranger from the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. We then had Shredder mixed, was it the Green Ranger I think, that came out during Funcon. And now of course we have these two as well. I think they are pretty cool and it is two things from my childhood but I haven't picked any of them up yet. I'm still kind of um and ahhing about it. Let me know what you guys think. Next up for all the Yu-Gi-Oh fans we have this epic looking five-headed dragon Funko Pop. I mean this thing looks absolutely amazing. I know a lot of people are excited about this one. A lot of comments that people really will be going for this one. I mean I did watch Yu-Gi-Oh! I wouldn't say as a kid but maybe more like a teenager. Uh, you, you know maybe on like a Sunday morning or something I did watch it quite a bit. Uh, never really collected the cards and never really got into it massively but yeah like I said this pop looks really really cool. Epic is the perfect word to describe it. Then we have the 267th release of the first wave of Jujutsu Kaisen on Vunga Pops. I am of course joking guys, it just seems we had so many Jujutsu Kaisen Pops announced and it really is just the first wave. And this is another Itadori here with the Rook glasses. He has the popcorn as well as, I think it's the ice cream isn't it? I was trying to remember the episode, I did see something where it was different in the manga. He was actually wearing like 2018 glasses um, in the manga, but they then changed it for the show of course the show came out in 2020. I mean they could have still done 2020 glasses I guess but now the, the pop would be releasing in 2022. That may still seem weird so maybe going with Rook was the like, best option. But yeah I, I probably will pick it up. I love Jujutsu Kaisen and I really do kind of want to complete that collection but it is now what the sixth, seventh, maybe even eighth uh, different version of Itadori that we've had. Is it necessary? Could we have had different characters? I think so. Continuing with the anime releases, guys, we have Kaoru and Hikaru Hitachin. I hope I am pronouncing that right. From Oran High School Host Club. Never seen this anime, uh, but I, I've certainly heard of it and it seems pretty popular. But like I said, I've never seen it. I'm assuming these are like twin characters, maybe main characters from the show. But yeah, really don't want to say too much else because I've never seen it. And then another two Funko Pops that are announced. And by the way, unless it does say two back in the pictures, none of these are two packs it's like they've just crammed them together in the same picture these are from dragon ball super which i think was the most recently released movie if i'm not mistaken it is ultra instinct goku with kamehameha i hope i've pronounced that right and goku ultra instinct sign i don't watch dragon ball z i did when i was very young and i never really kind of got back to it uh, you know as an adult or even as a teen well actually I tell a lie as a teenager I did but yeah I never really then went back to watching it as an adult uh, but I know people are very very excited about these Funko Pops of course Dragon Ball Z is absolutely huge it probably is still the biggest anime when you think about it um, but yeah the pops still do look really really cool to be perfectly honest and there was actually another Dragon Ball Z announcement although this doesn't say Dragon Ball Z Super so I'm assuming it is just part of the regular Dragon Ball Z line again I don't really know what I'm talking about when it does come to dbz but this is cell second form so yeah again guys really can't talk too much about these characters i really don't remember it from like my childhood or teenage years but again it is a pretty cool looking pop next up guys we have the pop that a lot of people are excited for and have wanted for a very long time it is luffy with the going merry from one piece look at that guys i think this is probably the best looking pop at least in my opinion from all of the exclusives that they have announced. This was also rumored uh, like throughout the year, right? It was on the list to release during WonderCon. It was on the list to release uh, during San Diego Comic-Con. I think it was on the list to release during Emerald City Comic-Con as well, even though barely anything did release uh, because they kind of had FunCon around the same time. But it is finally coming out at New York Comic-Con. I think this one will be super popular, like people will try and grab it straight away. Uh, I will certainly be going for it, even though I've never watched One Piece, I am trying to collect all of the One Piece figures because I will eventually be getting around to, uh, you know, watching it all. But yeah, I know it's 1000 plus episodes, but yeah, I'll get there. We did then get another soda announcement. This one is Eric Draven from The Crow, of course, played by Brandon Lee. Tragically, all those years ago, he died during filming The Crow. Was a pretty good movie. I did enjoy it. The chase, I was trying to think before I read it, I was like, what's different there? But he actually does have a crow there on his right hand. You guys might have to zoom in, but I get, because it was like black on black, I was like, I can't really see what the difference is. But yeah, if you do zoom in, there is a little crow there on his right hand. 
And the final announcement, guys, was the Stranger Things Dungeons & Dragons collaboration Vecna 2 back. Now, I saw a lot of people complaining about this, saying they just took the two singular releases and put them into a two-pack. Now, I know Funko have been guilty of this in the past, but these are actually two different figures, albeit there's not a massive change. Vecna's stance is different. The common one that's coming out, his body is actually to the side, and I think he's more pointing. I'm, I'm trying to think off the top of my head because I actually haven't got a picture of it here in front of me. And then the Vecna Dungeons and Dragon figure, he doesn't have any of that goo at the bottom or whatever it is, goo, blood, whatever it is. So yeah, the figures are actually a little bit different, but I get it. There's not much of a difference and maybe it is, you know, we could have maybe got just a different figure or a different character from Stranger Things, but it makes sense, you know, to do the collaboration. Stranger Things, you know, the whole, you know, upside down and the Demogorgon and all this, it's kind of based off of Dungeons and Dragons lore and things like this. So it kind of makes sense that they did this collaboration and I still think it's pretty decent, to be honest. How about all of that, guys? 50 plus new Fungo Pops and sodas announced for New York Comic Con. And there's a few that Fungo Europe didn't even announce. I'm assuming they are going to be con only ones. We do have the Pooley Pigeon and Pizza Rat. That makes sense because they're like New York Comic Con's uh, Funko mascots. There was also the uh, Kaboom Cereal uh, Clown that from the ad icons range. I didn't seem to notice that on any of Funko Europe's social medias, which I think is a little bit strange. And then there was also a Universal Monsters Frankenstein mask announced for the show, as well as the Frightmare on Fun Street t-shirt. I think those are, like I said, going to be con only exclusives. And I think the whole Frightmare on Fun Street, I imagine we're gonna get like this street again that like they did for San Diego Comic-Con this time in kind of like a Halloween theme because uh, New York Comic-Con does take place in October. And as for the shared retailers, guys, Fungo Europe did cause a bit of panic, a bit of stress yesterday because they did only release one of the infographics. You guys can now see it there on your screen. And as you can see, it is just really half of the releases. And a lot of people were like, well, are things only coming to FungoEurope.com? Are they ever going to be going to any of the stores? Where are the rest of the figures? Are they only going to stores? So yeah, there was a lot of panic, myself included, especially because that Luffy on One Mary is, you know, it's not there. And I was like, oh, that's one of my ones that I really did want to get but then this morning they did actually release the second page I don't know why they didn't release it yesterday and as you guys can see the rest of them there are coming to fungoeurope.com so that's where they, I imagine will drop first I think it's October 7th if I'm not mistaken they may like scatter the releases they have done that with both Funcon and say uh, San Diego Comic-Con pardon me we're still actually waiting for uh I think Chrysanthemum is still to release on fungoeurope.com from the uh from the San Diego Comic-Con releases. But they did then announce some of the stores. Not everything is going to store, so a lot is heading exclusively to FungoEurope.com. So we have Superman Red, as you guys can see, they're heading to Amazon, which I thought, well, is it weird? I mean, the Superman Blue headed to the Entertainer, so I thought they may just keep that the same. The Yosemite Sam in the Black Knight is actually heading to Pop Figures, which is interesting. Only the second popfigures.com uh, exclusive release after the Becky Lynch, which I think was part of Target Con. Uh, going to Tesco and Asda, we have the two Harry Potter Pops. The group figure is going to Smith's Toys Superstores. The uh, Kayla, the, what was it, B2EMO uh, from Andor, as well as the Emperor Joker are heading to the Entertainer. And then heading to Forbidden Planet International, we have Aquaman, we have the Halloween, I forgot what her name was, from The Office. We have the two-pack there. Uh, I've forgotten what that, <laughs> uh, in High School or something, I've forgotten what it was now off the top of my head. The Power Rangers uh, uh, TMNT crossover, the two Simpsons Pops, the Luffy in One Mary the Pop Ride, as well as the Rubik's Cube there, all heading to Forbidden Planet International. No other mentions for any of the other pops, so I imagine the rest of those are pretty much just heading to FunkerEurope.com and will not be heading to any stores. But as always, keep your eyes open for any future announcements on social media. We have seen it where something has been announced to go to one store and it ends up at another store eventually as an exclusive. Uh, do also be sure to check out their social medias, Funko Europe, as well as Original Funko, because they have posted all of the retailers in a bunch of regions. So you 
you may be able to see what stores are getting what pops in your regions. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. So first and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated, and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Drop some comments below. Out of all the announcements, which one are you most looking forward to? Actually, give me the top three. I always say the favorite. Give me your top three. And we've got plenty more content coming your way, guys. In tomorrow's video, I'll be opening up a bunch of Funko Pop parcels. In one of those parcels is the 25th Funko Soda that I have been waiting for. If you guys have been following along, you know I have been planning a 25 unique Funko Soda opening video. That video is now going to come on Friday. Yeah, so tomorrow we open up some Funko Pop packages with that soda. And then on Friday, we open up the 25 sodas. We are going to be continuing our very own Star Wars celebration here on the Geek Lounge, where we release a Star Wars themed video over the weekend so make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that and more what is the easiest way to stay tuned it's very simple subscribe hit click smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content guys thanks again for watching today's video and we will see you on the next one peace out nerds